One of the biggest trends right now is the demand for high-speed data on the move, with the Apple iPhone being the highest profile example of this. But there's a hidden cost to our demands for data everywhere and anywhere, and it's this. That data being beamed to and from our handsets has to traverse a network of some kind between the wireless or cellular base station and the internet or the operator's network. It's causing the mobile operators, the likes of Vodafone, Singular and T-Mobile, no ends of trouble. Why? Because upgrading a network designed for voice traffic into one that's becoming both increasingly data-centric and much busier is neither simple nor cheap. Sound familiar? It should, because it's a similar dilemma faced by fixed network providers. And curiously enough, the mobile operators are adopting similar remedies. So let's hear from them. What's wireless backhaul all about? It's the solution to every vendor's product portfolio. <laughs> it is, it is the, uh, the, hot, the hot topic. But more importantly, wireless backhaul is meaningful to service providers who need to support it and vendors who are building equipment for it because wireless communications is exploding. And with the explosion of wireless communications, it's forcing the radio networks to be really looked at uh, from an optimization perspective. As you come off of the radio network, get onto the wired network, how do you do that cost effectively with scale, reliability, and things of those nature? Um, because wireless backhaul has become such a hot industry term, any aspect of transporting the data seems to be...